when you're sculpting in ZBrush, sometimes you want to add subdivision, not to the whole entire mesh, but onto particular areas. And DynaMesh cannot do that because it converts a single polygon into double or into doubles, doubles like four, and it changes the entire subdivision level. However, there is a tool called Sculptus Pro that only subdivide the area that you want to. So let's see what this powerful tool can do in chapter 10. What happened? He told me to use Dynamash and now my laptop is frozen. Frozen? Why are frozen too? I'm sorry, bad joke. Um, use Sculptures Pro. It will work. <laughs> We will start with our chapter 10, which is about Sculptress Pro. There are times when you want to sculpt more details into a part of your model, but you don't want to have to increase the density of the entire thing. For example, DynaMesh requires the entire model to be the same density, and some dividing the model will turn every polygon into four smaller polygons. And I told you before that DynaMesh is uh, not uh, good with the memory and that thing with your computer. So it might make your computer uh, slow down because it will be taxing out a lot of uh, memory out of it. However, Sculptris Pro only subdivides the polygons that are needed for the detail you want, or like you are sculpting. So let's see how. So Sculptris Pro mode can be turned on with this button right over here. So you can see that when I roll or hover over here, it says activate sub, uh, Sculptris Pro mode. So if I will press control, you can see it will tell you about what the Sculptris, uh, like Sculptris Pro is. So I'll just click on the sub, uh, Sculptris Pro and let me zoom over here and I'll show and demonstrate what it is actually. Now it works with most brushes but not all of them so I'll show you the limitations but first let me show you basically what it is doing. So let me turn on my wireframe over here so you can see what it is actually doing over here and then uh, what I'm going to do is that I will go to my standard brush tool it's already there okay and what I'm going to do here is that I will just make the brush size a little bit bigger and you can see that the color of my brush size is not red anymore. It has become purple. Okay, which say uh, which uh, kind of uh, indicates I'm inside the Sculptress Pro mode. Now, when I will start a drawing a finer detail or any kind of detail, uh, instead of you know cranking up my dynamic resolution or sub subdividing my model, what it will do is that it if I will start painting with this on my screen, just notice what it do. It only subdivides, let me press it here, it only subdivides that brush strokes which I just made. And if I will turn off my wireframe, you can see how the result is. You can smooth out this so that it removes uh, if any artifact. It have there okay and then I will turn this on so you can see what it has done so far so basically it's uh, what it's doing is that it's uh, it's subdividing only where I'm sculpting so uh, let me undo the smoothing part so I can go back to the original one and I want to zoom in more closer so that you can see actually what it has done Okay, so now I have zoomed it uh, much more, you know, uh, the closer to it. So you can uh, see here what happened. So I uh, sculpted in this area and it subdivided only that area, leaving everything outside that stroke unchanged. So this is uh, what it actually is doing. It's only subdividing where you want to apply. So let me start uh, applying this uh, another stroke down somewhere here. Okay, let me make it smaller so you can see what it's going on 
as in the wireframe. So if I will draw, you can see that what it is doing is that it is creating that subdivision here. And then if I will press uh, Shift F, and if I will do it without that, you can also see how my result is coming up here. Okay. So you can see uh, we are just covering on the detail over here. And on this detail, I can uh, also sculpt again. Like suppose if I will, uh, you know, make the brush size even more smaller. So here, if I will sculpt, so it will make more finer, uh, like outline. Like suppose if I will press Shift F over here, so you can see even on this one, it will create more finer and more subdivided stroke. So you can stroke over a stroke. And it automatically it will cal like calculate and it will apply the subdivision level on it. So let me turn this off. So basically, this is what it uh, did. It just sculpted it over the sculpt. So it's pre uh, so uh, it's pretty much you know you can say it's straightforward and pretty intuitive. Now, like I said, it works with most brushes, but not all of them. It won't work with the move brush. Okay, so if I will go and click here BMV for my brush or uh, for my for my move brush uh, and I will increase the size of it and if I will start moving this you will see that it is moving as it was moving without the sculptors pro. Okay, so let me undo that. So we cannot use the move brush here, but there is another way around if you want to move what we can do here is that we can use a brush which is known as the snake hook brush so i will press b s and then once i'm here there is a snake hook brush okay b s h i will press h here so now i'm the snake hook brush. now if i will move with this brush so you can see that it is actually moving it with the uh, subdivision on it just like what it was doing here okay so let me undo this and turn on my wireframe shift f and let's see what it do so if i move it increases the subdivision of that part okay so you can use the snake hook brush if you want to move items okay like suppose if i want to move the chin down a bit So that's a good alternative if you want to use uh, move uh, like parts uh, with the, uh, in, while being inside the sculptor's probe. So how you can know if this brush will work with, uh, and it will not work. So if I will go back to my move brush BMV, so you can see that the sculptor's Pro is grayed out. It's, that means this brush will not work with it. But if I will go to BSH. The snake hook, you can see it is highlighted again. That means it will work with this brush. So let me move this one here. Now, as I showed you here, that if this is grayed out, that means it's not going to work. And if it is highlighted, that means it's going to work. In some cases, let's go back to my uh, standard brush tool, BST. And inside, uh, if I'm working with my standard brush tool and you know for some reason if I want to turn on the back facing so I will go to brush here okay and I will go to the auto masking here and turn on my back face as soon as I will turn on the back face you will notice that my sculptress pro is not working anymore that means uh, it have a limitation where it does not work with the back facing so I have to go back here and Eventually, I have to turn off the back face in order to work with the Sculptress Pro. So, Sculptress Pro does not work with the back facing as well. Okay, so other than the move brushes and using back face masking, Sculptress Pro should work with any other brush. So, these were some limitations, and this is how it actually works and what it is do. So, I hope you have understood about the Sculptress Pro and you might use it in your project. It will, you know, you, it will make some interesting results out of your, pro, uh, your project. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something out of it. So, if you have any questions, you can leave in the comment section below and uh, 
please feel free to share my uh, videos with your friends and also i will highly appreciate if you can share my channel on your social media account so i can get more subscriber please help me to get more subscribers so i can get more and more uh, you know videos i can uh, create more contents and subscriptions a lot of subscriber if i have, i will have it will motivate me so also click on the bell icon so you can get some notification whenever i will be uploading new videos and watch my videos online so that i can get more watch time hours and please do not download them because it actually demotivates me if i don't get uh, enough watch time hours so everyone take care of yourself till we meet uh, for the next lesson and bye for now Thank you.